Hi, my name is George, and these are the top three games that I've played during quarantine. First on the list is Final Fantasy VII. Released in 1997, this JRPG is one of the most influential games in the series as well as one of the most influential RPGs of all time. You play as Cloud Strife, a former soldier, as you and your friends try to stop the evil Shinra Corporation. Meanwhile, an evil force from Cloud's past re-emerges to destroy Earth. This game has a lot, like an easy to learn yet hard to master battling system, as well as a memorable story, well-written and beloved characters, and an amazing soundtrack. You'll spend hours upon hours playing this fantastic game. It is available for PS1, PS4, Xbox One, PC, iOS, and Android. And now for my number two, a game that is completely different. This is Doom 64. Released in 1997, this game was developed by Midway and was exclusive to the Nintendo 64 until the release of Doom Eternal, which made it available for all platforms such as PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. You play as the Doom Marine. The same Doom Marine from Doom 1 and Doom 2, as this game is a sequel to both of those two. In this, you must kill the mother of all demons before she resurrects a new army that she can use to take over Earth. Since this game was released on the Nintendo 64 and not the PC, there has been a change in graphics, weapon design, enemy design, tone, and music. The music taking the biggest change, as it went from a heavy metal, fast paced soundtrack to a more evil, Sinister soundtrack changing the entire tone and feel of the game that Doom 3 and Quake would also take up This game's weaponry feel and sound powerful with weapons such as the pistol Chain gun shotgun super shotgun rocket launcher plasma gun BFG and the new weapon the unmaker all feeling like and do Send the demons back to hell where they belong for all time players of the series This game has been a long time coming and for new players of the series. Don't worry. It's okay to die and finally, for number three, a game that is very personal to me and a game that made me want to get a PlayStation 4 to begin with, released in 2018 exclusively for the PS4, this is Marvel's Spider-Man. Growing up as a longtime fan of the character and his comics, to play this game feels like the best attributes of every 3D Spider-Man game I've played growing up was used to make this game and its story, and you can definitely feel it. You play as Spider-Man, who after a hole was made in the crime world of his city, has to stop his rogues gallery from taking over New York. The combat feels amazing. Every web weapon and punch and kick feel like they have weight and precision behind them. This game also makes use of Marvel and Spider-Man's history by referencing and using characters such as Daredevil, Tombstone, Taskmaster, and many, many more. And lastly, web swinging in this game feels absolutely amazing. It feels smooth and rivals every other Spider-Man game like Spider-Man 2, Web Shadows, and Ultimate Spider-Man. And now, like every Spider-Man movie and game before and after it, I'll leave you with this web swinging shot. This has been George, and I thank you for watching.